it's important for the Pope uh, to go to Lesbos and to have this meeting with the Archbishop of Athens and uh, uh, the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew uh, for, for many, many reasons. Uh, the first, of course, is, is the obvious one, and that is him bringing the attention of the world, the world press, the world leaders to the immigration crisis that we've been watching in horror for the last many, many months. Different from when St. John Paul went to Greece, in this case, the ecumenical patriarch, the spiritual leader of the Orthodox Church worldwide, is also coming to uh, welcome and, and greet the Pope. It has, I think, therefore, uh, a long-term ecumenical dimension. And that is, uh, this is a, uh, an excellent example of uh, how the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church can work together for the social good of the world. Any step like this that religious leaders can do together breaks down walls. And you, you must say that um, Bartholomew is very courageous uh, in, in doing this uh, because he's going to be with the Pope. There will be a certain reaction from certain quarters in orthodoxy uh, against this. There's already friendship with Bartholomew, but to meet in a pastoral mode is also uh, important for a certain dialogue within orthodoxy. Uh, because there are uh, major voices in orthodoxy that want to step out pastorally to the world, be more engaged with everything that's happening in the, the hearts and minds of people in, in the modern world. And this pope is very characterized by that. Uh, step out into areas of ecology, the issues of uh, uh, refugees and migration, washing the feet of poor people, uh, being pastorally very present to people, leaving the Vatican and going to where uh, suffering people are is, um, is an inviting challenge for a major part of orthodoxy. Mm -hmm.